Again, Sissoko intercepting the ball, driving forward. Little ball roll. What's going on YouTube? My Lark system. We're back for a player review on Musa Sissoko, foot fantasy card. Now it's looking like a very good card. 800k has just cost me. Six foot two, medium high, three star, three star. Obviously, if you played FIFA over the years, you'd know how good this Musa Sissoko card is probably going to be. Quick look at the attribute details. The pace obviously is very good, apart from the acceleration. Obviously, 76 acceleration really lets it down. He's got very good shot power, 95 shot power. Other than that, his shooting's not too good. Parsons very good for a midfielder. Obviously, he's got 90 short pass, 87 long pass. Good curve as well. Dribbling, again, like I said, it doesn't look like he's going to be... So, it doesn't look like his dribbling's going to be that good either. Obviously, he's got 94 dribbling. Obviously, agility and balance isn't very good. But his ball control, dribbling, composure is absolutely unreal, to be honest with you. I probably will end up putting an engine on him, or I'm not going to lie, being honest, I feel like a shadow needs to go on him just to boost that acceleration. Obviously, 76 acceleration at this stage of FIFA with how many cards are 85 plus, 80 plus. I feel like we're going to need to put a shadow on him. We'll see how, what his dribbling is like in game. Obviously, the agility and balance, I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem because of his body type. He's got a good body type in game. Defensively as well, when his physical stats, he's an absolute joke. Interception's very good. Defensive awareness, stand tackle. It's out of this world to be honest. It's one of the best on the game when you're looking at the stats just like that. So again, like I said, with a shadow, max out his defending, max out his pace as well. It would make him an absolute top tier card in game. Physically, you do definitely don't need to worry about this. 93 stamina, 98 strength, 93 aggression. So again, that can be left anyway. Quick look at the player trait. It's only got one solid player. So again, in game, he's going to be very firm with the tackles. He's just going to be in the right positions. He's going to be reliable in game. Very, very good card. I will try him in, in different positions. I feel like this is the only really what one position you can play him is either in a 4-4-2 at centre mid, obviously with someone next to him, or you can play him in a 4-3-3 as you're holding midfielder out of the three midfielders. Obviously, he is a defensive midfielder. He's not really going to go forward too, too much anyway. Obviously, with his work rates as well being medium high, he's not really going to push forward too much, but he's going to be very aggressive when defending. So we'll take him into a game of rivals and let's see how we get on. Drive and run. Nice bit of play. Just left stick dribbling. See, for a big guy, someone as big and strong as well, he's able to drive through like this. Can I get it onto his right? I can't. Still able to turn. Can I finish? Not quite. There you go. Great tackle by Sissoko. There you go. Strong. Able to burst round players as well. Quite agile as well for someone who's of his height. There's a nice one too. Oh, not able to get it back. Again, great tackle. In the right position. Breaks up the play. Nice little ball out wide as well. Nice bit of dribbling. And what a pass. What a pass. Yes, he will get the assist. What a ball that was from Sissoko. Again, just a little bit of left stick dribbling just to hold the ball. Nice little ball out wide as well. Again, like I said, he's strong enough just to hold players off. A little bit of turn. He's not obviously the most agile of players, but look how strong he is. He doesn't really give away the ball. Little bit of little turn. Oh, he's at the post. Another great pass. Great finish as well. Again, just able to drive. He's an absolute beast. Is that a hat trick of assist coming up? Oh, I should have finished. You know, just sits in front of the fence as you just see there able to keep driving can he finish yes he can what a player this card is again another good tackle from Sissoko getting on the ball as well now strong look at he just bursts away from people as well again nice little interception nice ball out wide as well Again, so another great ball out wide. Again, it's quite agile. Look at the strength on him as well. 
waste, able to burst through players. Obviously, not quick enough there with a ball roll. So they go aggressive. Put Ronaldo in, and he'll get another assist as well. And burst inside. Picks the pass. Oh, there we go, another assist. His passing is very, very good. And defensively again, look, just takes Antonio off the ball. Guy is an absolute beast, by the way. Just keep it easy as well. There you go, there's Sissoko driving from midfield. Little ball roll, shakes off the defender. Again, lovely pass. Again, Sissoko intercepting the ball, driving forward. Little ball roll. Oh, and he almost won it for us at the end. Nice turn. Oof, great shot from range as well. Again, look how strong he is. People bounce off of this guy. He's a he's an absolute beast. Look, can just keep tip time my way round. Left stick dribble. Again, can't get near him. Still going. No way. We go able to turn his way out of tight situations. Pick out a great ball as well. Just can't get a finish though. Little ball roll away from the defender. Gonna hold him off. Cross goal finish. Great goal. Even when they do try to tackle him. Just able to hold him off. Just like that. Again, very agile. Oh, I just can't get a pass across though. So as we see from the gameplay, Musa Soko is an absolute beast. He's able to score a few goals, which will surprise me as well. Obviously, he's only got 60 finishing and, and the long shots ain't great. Obviously, I did have a few shots of him. Obviously, the shot power really does help him out because it just literally flies past the goalkeeper before they can do anything. Obviously, he's got a unique body type in game. So obviously, he's got his own body type. So that's why I wasn't too concerned about the eight year agility. Obviously, don't get me wrong. Sometimes he can obviously be pushed off the ball, but his strength really does help him out. As you see there, he's holding off players as he's running past him. His passing's really good as well. I didn't realize, you know, in game, it doesn't feel like he's got a three-star weak foot. I'm really being honest with you. Other than that, this card is an absolute machine. There's a reason why it's 800k at the moment. I feel like this card will probably drop down to about 500, 600k. If you pack this card, you're going to be very, very lucky. Now, Moose Sissoko does play most games for Watford. I can see Watford getting at least one clean sheet in the next five games. I don't know about him scoring or assisting because obviously he's a midfielder, but I can definitely see this card going up plus two. Using the chemistry styles, the best one for him would definitely be a shadow. Like I said, because of the 76 acceleration, you really do need that plus 10 on him to make it to 86 acceleration. Plus, it maxes out his sprint speed. So once he does get going, there isn't really much stopping as you see in game. Again, like I said, passing's very good, left or right foot. He's able to bomb forward defensively. He's an absolute beast. He's able to hold people off. He's just an absolute monster in game, to be honest with you. Obviously, physically, he's good. Defensively, he's good. He's probably one of the best holding midfielders on this game. The only thing, like I said, that lets him down is his shooting. So if you are to play him in a 4-4-2, his shooting's not that great. But for me personally, I feel like playing in a 4-3-3 or a three-man midfield. This is your holding midfielder. He is an absolute beast. Now, if I'm going to give this card a rating out of 10, I'm definitely going to give it a 9. I feel like it will get two pluses. Like I said, he plays every game for Watford, so he's definitely going to get plus one. He needs to make three appearances out of five. I feel like Watford will keep at least one clean sheet in the next five games. So again, that will definitely happen. I don't know about him obviously scoring or assisting, but you never know in football. So yeah, nine out of 10, more than likely will go to a 90 rated card. And I, I would suggest that this price would probably drop to about 500 to 600K. It's around 800 now, so I'd expect a, a few hundred K drop price. But yeah, nine out of 10, Moose is a He is an absolute beast. But that is all for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment, run the road to a fan subscriber. So make sure you smash that subscribe button. If you are looking to make more coins on FIFA, looking for ways to improve your team and just want some advice, or looking for advice on how to get more wins in games of FIFA like Foot Champs and Rivals, join my FIFA Trader server group. The link is in the description below. It's free to join. It's on Discord. So make sure you go and check it out, guys. Thanks for tuning in and until next time.